So in this segment, we're going to be discussing Swella Braveman's harsh maths lesson, along with some other things, and some things I get frustrated about that journalists continue to keep doing without realising they keep making mistakes. You're uh, talking today about police, police committing to pursue all reasonable lines of inquiry. Why on earth are they not doing that already? Good morning. Very pleased to join you. Well, since I've become Home Secretary about a year ago, I've been working on a huge programme of police reform to ensure that the police get back to basics, common sense policing, as I... I mean, over 13 years, your party has completely decimated policing. So, you know, that's down to you guys that violent crime has been dealt with properly. So this idea that, you know, you're going to be the one to reform it. I, I don't know if you can let the arsonists put out the fire call it. It means removing unnecessary burdens from police time like mental health call outs or home office counting rules and unneeded. Hold up. Getting rid of what? Burdens from police time. It means removing unnecessary burdens from police time like mental health call outs or who do you, who do you, the, the, is she talking about welfare checks where if you think um, someone's not doing great, you can get the police to check on them? Is, is that what she's saying? Or, you know, when if someone has a mental breakdown and the police are needed, are they not going to come out? What, 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 what does, what does this mean? The, the, the fact that police do welfare checks is a good thing. You know, they'll knock on your door and check to see if you're right and like to make sure like you haven't done anything really stupid. I, I don't, just, Wow. Home office counting rules and unneedless bureaucracy. It means a record number of police officers, and now it also means taking every crime seriously, ensuring that no. Are they not taking every crime seriously? Because I know you like to admit fraud from the statistics, but like, yeah, we have a problem in this country where police just don't turn up. You know, if you get mugged or something like that, police just don't turn up crime is treated as minor uh, and making sure that they follow up on every reasonable line of inquiry. This is a landmark commitment. It's an, uh, I've challenged the police to make this agreement. It's now over to them to actually deliver this on the ground on case by case instances. What, what she's saying is I've told the police to do a thing. If they don't do the thing that I've told them to do, then it's their fault. When the question is, did you give them the resources? Can they even scale up in time? Because it seemed like the, the Manchester police, it's just a complete failure of police departments. The Met Police are complete failure. Does anyone have any faith in many of these police departments in the country when they've been recruiting people without doing proper vetting? They had like neo-Nazis and stuff, you know, get, get into the police forces. So that victims of crime have greater confidence in the police, knowing that they will follow up on leads, that they will take theft, robbery, drug dealing, street level drug crime more seriously. There what, are no... Was it a joke before? Do they think it was funny? What are you? What are you saying, Suella? Like, I, I don't get it. It's just, you know, why were the police not taking this seriously whilst your party were in charge for the last thirteen years? Some of these things are very serious. Extra resources. There are no extra staff to do these jobs. Yep. The police are not sitting around on their hands, are they? They are, are all working at the moment. So, what will go as a result of this? What will they not be investigating? Well, I That's disagree with question. you. There are no extra resources. We've just recruited 20,000 additional police officers. Well, so we well, now you, have you recruited 3,000 additional police officers. You, you lost yes. 20,000 police officers, didn't you, over uh, from 2010 up to, up to the latest date? So you've lost 20,000, you've gained 23,000. So you've gained 3,000. That's wrong. We now have a record number of police officers it's, it's ever. So you, can see, you can see the pivot there. She's gone from we've added 20,000 to we've added a record number of police officers. You can see where she's pivoted there to kind of combat being pushed back against, which is a, a fairly slick move from Braverman. But the problem is, as the interviewer points out, like if you gain 20,000 or 23,000 and you lose 20,000, uh, 20, you only really gain 3,000. Ever ever in the history of policing, far higher than any previous administration. So the police have a the greatest number of police officers they've ever had at their disposal. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll give a little tip to um, anyone who is a journalist watching this, right? If you want to beat the Tories, what you focus on is per capita. How many police officers do we have per capita compared to 2010? If you want to beat the Tories when they pu push out these big numbers, that's how you do it. That's how you do your job properly. You look at the per capita numbers and the per capita numbers is that we've had a big population in Greece uh, since 2010 and I would not be surprised to see if the per capita number of police officers to people has fallen dramatically. So I would say a tip to any journalists out there who might be watching this, you're probably not, um, but if you are, focus on per capita. That's the Tories kryptonite. 
and we go to Suella Braben getting, um, you know, accusing a union that is looking out for people's safety, um, a political union which is not doing, you know, not looking out for people but looking out for labour, which is one of the stupidest things I've heard. The union uh, are making headlines again today. They say that they have written to you expressing safety concerns. They say the barge is a death trap potentially, and they say you, you won't meet them. Why not? This over that barge, the one that they want to put all the asylum seekers on? Well, let me be clear that I'm confident that the barge is safe. This barge has accommodated uh, people in the past, asylum seekers, oil rig workers, and barges of this kind have been used to uh, accommodate asylum seekers, for example, in Scotland. So I'm very confident that this barge... I mean, there's a reason why they stopped using them in Scotland. I mean, you had a Legionella outbreak, and I think she tried to push people back onto their ships despite the outbreak. So, you know, clearly she's talking rubbish. ...is safe for human habitation. We followed all of the advice and protocols in anticipation of embarkation. Uh, but let's be clear about what the Fire Brigade Union are doing. They are a Labour-affiliated union. They are carrying out a political uh, attack on the government through their uh, challenge right now. They want uh, to stop us, just like uh, we're dealing with the range of forces who want to stop us from stopping the boats, whether it's immigration lawyers, charities, NGOs. You know, imagine attacking the, you know, the fire brigade union saying, oh, you know, you're just a political union, bunch of hacks who are, you know, trying to stop us from, you know, potentially burning people to death. Like, I, I don't get it. I just, I, I don't, I think she might be the worst minister, genuinely might be the worst minister that I've seen. Um, because these that, that barge is incredibly dangerous. It's a fire risk. They, they'll call it a Grenfell, potentially a Grenfell on sea. And, you know, the fire, the fire services couldn't, couldn't do much to stop Grenfell or you know kind of stop people dying imagine how much more difficult it's going to be when the thing is in the ocean like how are you going to rescue people at that point I don't like it just doesn't make any sense and just the cost of running this stuff it, it just if, even if you're one of those fiscal conservative people this thing makes no sense if you're a person with a decent moral compass this thing makes no sense so it's just there to punish people genuinely it's not even a deterrent because it's not working the Labour Party, they're all gleeful uh, uh, about the prospect of us not putting people on the barge. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy for you not to put people on the barge as well, because it's the right thing to do, is to not use stuff like this, it's to actually process people's claims. These are the right things to do. Uh, of boats well, coming they, across They would say the that channel. they're raising all part serious of a safety attempt concerns, to stop us wouldn't from they? delivering on our pledge. They would say that they're, they're registering severe uh, safety concerns. Is it true, as being reported in some of the papers this morning, that you're considering tagging uh, migrants? Well, we've just passed our landmark legislation in the form of the Illegal Migration Act. That will... It's an ironic name. ...empower us to detain and remove illegal migrants more swiftly and we will of course uh, need to increase some of our detention capacity we have a couple of thousand detention places already at our disposal but we're considering a range of options all options to ensure that we can exert some control over those people who are arriving illegally so that we can thereafter remove them to a safe it's just madness we're, we're putting people on a ship that could potentially it's a fire hazard a massive fire hazard um you know she got a pretty harsh math lesson math lesson from here what you know if she's just there to kind of put take the heat off sunak then fair enough but i just i think she brings on more problems than she solves like from a political perspective and when you look at it like how bad she is you know she's arguably the worst i think she's the worst tory minister you know attacking attacking um a fight a five brigade union um, because what they're saying is that this thing is dangerous, you know, we shouldn't be using this. Um, you know, saying that, oh, we've got 20,000 extra police officers, 23,000 extra police officers, when we only have about 3,000, uh, just... Yeah, she's just kind of squirmy and annoying. I mean, it's not the first time we've seen a Home Secretary who can't do basic maths. I guess this won't be the last. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, support the channel on Patreon if you can, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.